the week blessed. I want to quickly share with you a thought of inspiration. And we're speaking about being busy and how busy life is. But with the busyness, sometimes it feels chaotic. Now, I'm speaking from my perspective tonight because it's been so busy for me these last couple of days. So much has been happening and it's so easy to get stuck in the busyness and to get lost in the chaos. Because every day you wake up, there's so many things you have to do. There's so many things that you must tackle. There's so many things you must get done. I don't know about you, but that's how I feel. And it feels as if you don't do it, then it feels as if, you know what, it's just going to get, uh, the, the, the to-do list is just going to get longer and longer as time goes on. So you've got to do certain things now. You've got to do certain things this week. But with that being said, I just want to say something. There's a lot of things that you, that you have to do. But there are only a few things you must do. There's, there's a lot of things that are demanding your attention. But there are a few things that you cannot afford to stop paying attention to. For example, I cannot stop paying attention to my family. I cannot stop paying attention to my congregation members. There's a lot of things I can do. I can drop the ball here, I can drop the ball there, but when it comes to souls, when it comes to preaching the word, when it comes to loving my family, I cannot stop paying attention to that. You have to identify in the season what is priority. What do you have to do? You know, some of you, the children you have, you're the only parent they will ever have. And that is your priority. For some of you, you're in a position where people are dependent upon your prayers, your faith. You being a good influence. But the devil wants to get you busy so you can stop paying attention to what's important and focus on the mundane, the things that aren't significant. And tonight I want to I wanna provoke you a little bit. I want you to actually feel, wow, man, I must, I must choose to focus on that which is right. Now listen to what the Bible says. I want to read a scripture to you. Isaiah 26 verse 3, it says this, You will keep in perfect peace, everybody say perfect peace. Perfect, perfect peace. peace. Those whose minds are steadfast, another translation says, whose focus, because they trust in you. The true source of peace in the busyness, in the chaos, the true source of peace in everything that's taking place is God. And what are we doing at this prayer meeting? Why did we come together tonight? Because we are coming and we're saying, we're stopping everything, we're going to church. Now I know, there's some of you, you, you actually, you need to be busy. But you've said, okay, wait, stop. I'm going to church. I'm going to pray. I'm going to spend time focusing on God. Now what is focus? According to the dictionary, it's the center of interest or activity. The center of interest or activity. The center of interest. What interests you? And what activity are you focused on? That's what focus is. Now God says in His Word, If you are focused on Me, you will have peace. Not just peace, but true peace. Do you know how many people don't have peace? Do you know it's an asset nowadays to have peace? You know how many people are lying awake at night? They cannot sleep. Then they take pills to try and sleep. And then they take pills and, and the pills don't always help. So now they're going to the doctor. Now they're getting pills just to function through the day. You know, So you're trying to take pills in the night to sleep. And then you're sometimes tired in the day or most of the time tired in the day because there's so much to do. Now you're going to the doctor. Now you're getting pills just to stay alive through the day. You know, focusing. And, and we're just living on pills and we're living on all this... You know, worldly advice of how to function and what to do. But God created us to live from a place of His presence. Mm -hmm. To live from a place of being in His presence. And let me tell you something. The devil's going to keep you busy with everything that's not priority so that you don't come out by what's priority. Think back with me. If you look back over your life. What's the biggest regret you have? You know what's for me a big regret? I focused on too many things that weren't priority. 
If I focus rather on what I needed to do and what people were dependent on me to do, and I and I focus just on that instead of the mundane and all the little nitty gritty and all the pretty cash, if I just focus on what was priority, life would have been different. Amen. Now, there's a story in the New Testament. The Bible tells us that one night the disciples were out at sea, the Sea of Galilee. And all of a sudden there was a storm, a storm that arose. And Jesus was up in the mountain busy praying and he decided that he was going to come down from the mountain. And that he was going to cross over the Sea of Galilee. And the Bible says that he was crossing over the Sea of Galilee where the disciples were caught in the middle of a storm. And the Bible says it was about, you know, the third watch of the night. This was about three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, all of a sudden, Jesus comes towards them. He's walking on water. Now, they're busy fighting against the storm. And the storm is overwhelming them. And there's chaos. And it's busy. And, and there's all this wind and waves and thunder. And you can just imagine how crazy it is. And all of a sudden, they see just in the midst of all the chaos, they see a man. But they don't recognize him. And they think at first that that's a ghost. But you know, you can sometimes not recognize God in your midst, or you can even miss God. Sometimes God can be doing something in your life, and you think this is something completely bad or not good. But you don't realize it's the hand of God busy moving yeah. you, busy helping you. That's why we need to pray, Lord, open my eyes to see you. Amen. And the Bible says that when He came walking, He comes walking. And he sees that they are scared. And listen to what Matthew chapter 14 verse 27 to 31 says. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got up, down out of the boat, walked on the water and came towards Jesus. He was doing the supernatural. A few minutes earlier, he was scared of the water, he was fearful of the water, and it looked like the water was going to kill him because he was going to drown if that boat crashed or shipwrecked. Now all of a sudden, he's walking upon that which he was fearing a moment ago would kill him. Now that's what happens when you get into the presence of God. That which is overwhelming you, all of a sudden comes yeah. under your feet. Yeah. What are we doing at the prayer meeting? We, 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 we are saying, we're going to get out the bo boat and we're going to walk upon the water. We're going to walk upon the busyness of life. We're going to walk upon the chaos. We're going to walk above the storm. And the Bible says, listen to this, verse 30. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. When he saw, how do you see? With your eyes. How do you focus? With your eyes. What's the definition of focus? The center of interest or activity. So get the picture. He climbs out the boat. He sees Jesus. He's walking towards Jesus. He's doing the supernatural. This is a miraculous event that's taking place. He's walking above the storm. He's walking above the chaos. And he sees Jesus. And he's operating in the supernatural. But the Bible says somewhere he looked and he saw a wave. Somewhere he, he heard the wind. And the Bible says there he began to see. When? He lost focus on Jesus. Now listen to this. Then he began to sink and he cried out, Lord, save me. Everybody say, save me. Save, save me. me. Immediately, Jesus reached out with his hand, caught him, and said, you have little faith? Why did you doubt? Can I tell you, the key today to overcoming the chaos and the busyness of life, the key to focusing on what's priority is making sure that your faith is in the right place. But you cannot have faith if you're focused on the chaos, if you're focused on the problem, if you're focused on the storm, if you're focused on the winds and the waves. Tonight I've come to challenge you. Shift your focus to Jesus. That's what we're doing at the prayer meeting. We are putting our focus on Jesus. In, midst of, in the midst of everything that's going crazy, we say, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're coming back to what's priority. It's Jesus. We're coming back to what's important. But there's a lot of things we can do. There's a lot of places we need to be, but we're coming back to what is important, and that's Jesus. Are you with me? Amen. 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 So tonight as we pray, I want you to open your heart up and ask the Lord, Lord, help me to see yes. in the midst of the chaos, in the midst of the busyness, that I don't miss you, that I don't miss you. And help me to keep focus on you, Jesus. So that when life overwhelms me, I won't sink, but 
brought our water from there, which is supposed to make me dry. Amen. Awesome. Any prayer requests? Everybody happy? Let's pray for.